Hey, hey, Yeniverse and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Yo, are you mining some of that BTC, that busy Bitcoin? Careful where you're getting your updates from if you're trying to do like some overclocking. Definitely got to be careful. Um, looks like it's been around for a little while, but it seems to be making a big resurgence. Like people just like forget and start downloading stuff and then not checking. I mean, the, guys, you got to be safe. If you're going to be looking at trying to overclock and get the best performance out of your ant miners, whatever one you got, doesn't matter which one you got. Um, and actually, it's not even uh, isolated to just uh, the Bitmain and, um, Bitcoin miners. Uh, it's actually going after the Avalon miner, too. So, people, be careful if you're trying to look for updates for your machinery. Some of it is going to be a scam. Now, the good news is with this is, uh, well, it's like good news and bad news. So... Basically, the, uh, the it's a ransomware attack on your uh, ASIC miner called HANT. I've uh, been targeting uh, specific uh, uh, Bitmain uh, S9, T9, and the L3, and um, some of the uh, Avalon rigs. Um, but let me... It's like, uh, so this is like basically what it what it's saying here. Um, I am H Ant. I continue to attack your miner. As long as you spread the infected machine, my server verifies there are 10 new IPs and the number of ant miners reaches a thousand. I will stop attacking you. Otherwise, I will turn off your ant miner's fan and overheat protection, which will stop it from turning off. Um, and it'll burn up the machine or possibly start a fire, depending on how hot it gets. Um, click the download for patch where and update your... Um, and basically, they're saying, oh, you, you got to update this. And as you update this, it's going to spread it around the, the Internet. Um, you're going to spread it to all your other machines. Otherwise, you can send 10 BTC and uh, we'll leave you alone. Yeah, that doesn't work. Now, if you're really stupid, you might fall for this. Please, please, listen to me. Don't fall for it. Um, actually, all you gotta do, it, it's not really all that malicious. It's a flash drive. So you flashed it, you can unflash it. Yay, that's good news. That's what I was talking about. There is good news. So if you didn't do your research and you get this, um, uh, what is it? I think I have it. It's on here. Yeah. You'll get this on your, um, actually it's here. You'll get this on your screen uh, whenever you go into your uh, miner. If you see this, don't worry. Un just turn it off. Unplug it for a moment. Go get another firmware uh, flash. Put it into it. Reflash the machine. You should be fine. Uh, this is like if you accidentally, you know, even if you go and download something stupid on your computer, it doesn't brick it. It's just an inconvenience to get it off. Uh, even even I've gone in. Uh, this was a long time ago, but I've gone into. Uh, websites where I clicked on something within the website. I thought it was a legit website, and one of the links in there linked it to a third party that wasn't so legit. And as soon as it opened up the browser, it completely infected my machine. It took me like an hour and a half to undo all the damage, but I was able to salvage my machine. It wasn't a problem. Uh, so these hackers. You know, as much of an inconvenience it is, it's, it's cute, but it's it's an inconvenience. Um, it can be undone, majority of it. Um, especially with this one, the H Ant. It's, like I said, it's an old, it's something that's been around for a little while. Um, but if you accidentally see this on your, on any of your ASIC machines, just know it's just the firmware that you just updated on your machine. 
So go find some better legitimate firmware and reflash your, uh, your ASIC and you should be back up and running, no problems. Just be careful, guys. Uh, I mean, even when you're searching the websites, be careful. Um, I've even got a thing here for whenever I'm uh, browsing around, it's called Web of Trust. Uh, the problem with this is a lot of them don't know about the cryptocurrencies. A lot of them are unregistered websites that they, I mean, well, they're not really unregistered, but they're not confirmed and all that stuff. So my web of trust um, for scammy sites will show a red, uh, uh, it'll have like a little red icon next to the, uh, to the to name saying, hey, this is going to infect you and it's going to cause you a headache. Um, but for the majority of crypto stuff, it doesn't show a green ring uh, like it does like if I go, let's say an Intel. If I go onto an actual Intel site, it'll give me a green ring. Um, if I look at the New York Stock Exchange, it'll show me a green ring. Um, if I, let's say, go on the NEO, it gives me a gray ring. Doesn't say it's good, doesn't say it's bad. It just says, it's here. So it's really hard to find stuff that'll play nice with the cryptocurrency community that will kind of help weed out a lot of the scammy stuff from the legit stuff. So guys, please be careful when you're trying to find, you know, you, you find a website that says, oh, we're going to give you better performance. Do your research. Make sure that you're, you know, make sure there's other people that are using it that you know, or people that you know can help you get the information you're looking for. Don't just jump into it saying, well, the internet told me. When you see stuff like this after the internet told me to do this, this is how you get into trouble. It's just like investing, guys. Don't FOMO into your machines. Not everything is going to give you this proclaimed um, bump in performance, so be careful. Um, there is no one click performance bump for any of the ASIC miners that I know of yet. I'm not saying there isn't going to be one in the future, but as of right now, none exist. Um, when I'm what there, what there is some overclocking stuff out there. Like I can download some firmware for my E3 ant miners that'll allow me to overclock it. Because right now, they're sitting in stock settings. I can get it to overclock get a small little bump of performance and it's what it's also going to do is going to turn my fans up a little higher so it's going to start eating up a little bit more electricity will i eventually do it just to see what it can do for sure for sure i'll probably do that this summer but as of right now i've got no necessity to go through all of that trying to find out who's got uh, legitimate firmware for the e3 amp miner uh, considering that it's working right now, it's hashing away, I've got no issues with any of them. Leave it alone in my book. Um, if I was seeing an overall performance drop where I was thinking of, man, I've either got to turn them off or I'm paying the electric bill on them. Um, that would actually get me to motivate to start overclocking them a little bit more because I'm going to look for that performance bump as a last ditch effort before I get rid of them. You know, but as of right now, I got no necessity for it. Why? Because I don't want to see stuff like this on my my Googie screen when I look at my ASIC miners and check on them once in a while. Don't need this stuff. This is a headache. This is why you got to check all your stuff. You make sure that you're going into, you know, like I said, I'm, I, I know I'm kind of rambling at this point, but you got to make sure, do your research, guys. Don't just download anything. Uh, make sure that it is legitimate software. Um, there are places where you can get legitimate software for this stuff. Don't just grab the first thing. Please, please. Um, and if anybody's uh, got any of the um, the Bitcoin mining rigs, uh, like the S9 uh, or anything like that, and you guys have seen 
this screen and have already dealt with it, let me know. Or if you know somebody who's dealt with this, let me know. Um, and let me know if they were able to correct that by just reflashing the uh, um, the firmware back on there. Um, I would like to, I'd be curious to know somebody who legitimately had this issue. Um, so definitely drop some comments in down below uh, while you're down there. Yo, smash that lizardy like button, guys, for sure, for sure. Um, and uh, hit the subscribe, the bell notification, share these videos with people. If you know people with ant miners, share this with them. They don't want to be seeing this screen and they are going to want to know how to correct it just in case they accidentally do. So with that, guys, like always, I will see you on the next one.